welcome to life science notes friends so today we'll see about sage sage is basically serial analysis of gene expression so let us figure out what is gene expression first so gene expression is a process by which information from one gene is used to synthesize a functional gene product it may be protein and sometimes in the case of non-coded RNA which is tRNA the functional product is functional RNA so let us see what actually SAGE is serial analysis of gene expression so SAGE uh, is a technique which allow us to rapidly and detail analyze the overall gene expression of a sample or an interested uh, cell. Hmm. SAGE also provides us the quantitative expression profiling of a given cell population. SAGE was a first invented and discovered by Velkeliskis et al. in 1995. At that time, RNA blotting were the technique were used to study the gene expression. These techniques were slow so the scientist came up with a new advanced technique which is a more rapid than the RNA blotting and is able to study gene expression in a small amount of time sage allow us to digitally analyze gene expression not only of a single gene but a complete profile of cells gene expression SAGE allow us to compare the gene expression of normal, developmental and diseased cell. So the serial analysis of gene expression is carried out in total 10 steps. The first step is isolation of mRNA. The second is cDNA synthesis from the mRNA. Third is enzymatic cleaving of cDNA. The fourth one is ligation of linker to bound to cDNA. The fifth one is cleaving with a tagging enzyme. The sixth one is the formation of dye tags. The seventh one is to amplify the created dye tags. The eighth one is to isolate that dye tags. The ninth one is quantumization. And the tenth one is cloning and sequencing. Let us see one by one each step in detail. So the first step I had said before is isolation of mRNA. So the mRNA from the sample or interested cell or the diseased cell whatever it is uh, is isolated. So the mRNA when it is isolated we need to synthesize cDNA from that mRNA. So in that process we use reverse transcription. So we use an enzyme called as reverse transcriptase which, uh, which make us able to synthesize cDNA from the mRNA that we have isolated from the interested sample. The second step is the synthesis of cDNA. So the cDNA that is isolated from the mRNA molecule by reverse transcription is added with biotinylated oligo DT primer. This biotinylation will help us to isolate cDNA further in the process. This cDNA synthesized is immobilized to streptavidin beads. The cDNA is mixed with the streptavidin beads. These beads will form biotin cDNA complex, which is a very strong bond. So, the third step is enzymatic cleavage of cDNA. So, the cDNA molecule is cleaved with an enzyme known as restriction endonucleases, which is type 2 restriction endonuclease enzyme. Uh, here, if you, uh, I can give an example, is NLA3 restriction enzyme. So this will cleave the DNA, the cDNA into short fragments and these fragments are of 250 base pairs with sticky ends on both the sides. So the fourth step in the SAGE process is ligation of linker. 
So the captured cDNA are ligated to linker at their ends. The cDNA is ligated with the linker. The linker is a synthetic double-stranded oligonucleotide containing a sequence for a specific restriction enzyme. The added linker divides them into two groups, group A and group B. The linker must contain a, oligon a nucleotide cohesive overhang, type 2 recognition sequence and a PCR primer sequence. So the fifth step in the process of CH is cleaving with tagging enzymes. So tagging enzymes is used to cleave the cDNA. The tagging enzyme usually used is a BSMF1. This removes the cDNA from the beads to create a short tag fragment of 11 nucleotide long. These tags have sticky ends which are re repaired using DNA polymerase Clenau fragment and DNTPs to create the blunt ended tags. After there is formation of blunt ended tags, in the six steps we will form dye tags. The two groups of cDNA are ligated using T4 DNA ligase and dye tags are created. The linker dye tag linker construct is created. The linker dye tag linker construct is produced. The linker dye tag linker construct are amplified using PCR with a specific PCR primer. Due to amplification, there are many copies produced of the linker dye tag linker construct of cDNA. In the 8th step, the isolation of dye tag is performed. The cDNA is again digested by using anchoring enzyme. Anchoring enzyme is then used to cleave the dye tags and remove the linkers. This leaves sticky ends on the cDNA. Sticky ends contain a sequence GTAC at each end of the dye tag. In the ninth step, there is contamination of the dye tags. The dye tags are combined into much longer molecule con contactamer. Each dye tag is having AE site, which is anchoring enzyme site, allowing the scientists to compute and recognize where one end and the another begins. After the contamination of dye tags, the next step is cloning and sequencing. Lots of copies are required so that the quantumers are inserted into the bacteria which act like living copy machine to create millions and billions copies of the DNA. These copies when they are produced, they are sequenced and stored in a SAGE database. So let us recap all the things we have studied under SAGE. So the first thing was gene expression. Gene expression is a process by which any of, by which information from one gene is used to synthesize a functional gene product. Commonly it is protein. SAGE is a rapid and detailed analysis of overall gene expression. SAGE provides quantitative expressing profile in a given cell. And it, it was discovered by Valkyliskis et al. in 1995. Let us see the steps two. The first step is isolation of RNA. So the RNA from the sample or interested cell is isolated. This mRNA is used for the synthesis of C So the cDNA is synthesized by using reverse transcripted enzyme. Then the cDNA is added with biotinylated oligo DT primer. This biotinylated oligo DT primer will help us in further process to isolate the cDNA. This cDNA is then immobilized to streptavidin beads. The cDNA is mixed with the streptavidin beads. These beads will form a biotin cDNA complex. In the third step, there is an enzymatic cleavage of cDNA. So the cDNA is cleaved using an enzyme restriction endonucleases. This will create a 20 to 50 base pair long DNA with the sticky ends. The next was ligation of linker. 
So the cDNA is ligated to linker. Linker is a synthetic double-stranded oligonucleotide containing a sequence of specific restriction enzyme. These linker are ligated to the cDNA. The fifth one is cleaving with tagging enzyme. Tagging enzyme is used to cleave the cDNA. This, this removes the cDNA from the beads to create a short tag fragment of 11 nucleotide. These tags have sticky ends which are repaired using DNA, uh, DNA polymerase enzyme to make blunt ended DNA. Once this is done, the blunt ended tags are ligated to generate dye tags. This divides them into two groups A and B. The two tags are linked together using the T4 DNA ligase. These are amplified in the PCR. After amplification, the dye tags are isolated. So, in the 8th step, the cDNA is again digested with an AE enzyme which is anchoring enzyme. The AE enzyme breaks off the linker. This leaves the sticky ends with the sequence GTAC at each end of the dye tag. This, uh, then the next step is contamination of dye tags. The tags combined into much longer molecule. It is contamination. Each, ta each dye tag is having AE site which allow the scientist and the computer to recognize our gene of interest. The next step is cloning and sequencing. Lots of copies are required so that the contamer can, are inserted into a bacteria which act like a living copy machine to create billions of copies of DNA. And after we get the copies of DNA, they are sequenced and the database is stored in the staged database bank. So this is how the sage is carried out. If you liked my video, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel.